Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more Only One Of. This was a patron request sent to me by Sarah, and they asked me to react to Only One Of, Picasso, Art Pop Remix, Gravity, and Dopamine. And I remember the first time I heard Picasso. It was back when they were doing the their s series of B. Um, They're doing their B series of songs last year. And I bought each one of them on the iTunes and they each came with a little bonus track that I didn't realize was there until I was just like playing stuff on shuffle while I was in my shower and the song came on. I'm like, what is this? What is this? Hold on, what is it? I don't remember buying this song. And I'm like, oh, they each, like I just, I just blindly buy because I'm like, you know what? Support my babies. I, don't, I, I thought I was just buying singles. And that's when I discovered that they had all these other tracks that were fire on that um, B project. And I was going to do a whole ranking video of those songs and the songs that were released as music videos. And I just never got around to that video. But yeah, ever since then, I love the song. Love, love. It's vibe. And yeah, I'm excited to just watch them do all these tracks live. So let's dive on in. It just feels so dark and mm, seductive. This is the beat. I will gladly stay. Oh! Hey. But I love this whole light wall happening behind them. Uh, it's just so seductive. I like this blonde hair on YouTube, baby. Mm, that little vocal fry on that onset. Mm. Oh. I saw that little eyebrow. Don't, don't you give me this eyebrow, Junji. You better calm down. Mm. Sweet okay, okay. You can shoot inside on if you want, but... Ah! Love. Like I said, I still haven't actually found a version of the song with lyrics. I haven't, or English translations. I have no idea what the song is about, but it's just sensual and makes me feel some type of way. Okay. 
Sweet boy. I'm ginger. Your hair grew like six inches since we just last saw you. It's a magic trick. Another just vibe of a song. I'm gonna venture guess that those are extensions they gave him for some reason because part of it doesn't look very well blended. Um, I would have just left him with the hair he had two minutes ago. I think he looked just fine. Come on, head voice. You better mix. Come on, Junji. Oh, come on. You better give me the soulful vibe. I'm gonna just groove it out. Yeah, I like that song. I don't know that I've reacted to that one. I'm, I'm sorry that I haven't because that song is. That is a vibe. Okay, I see. Um, I see. I see skin potentially. Oh no, they're just undershirts. Okay. I like this blonde hair on you. Sometimes I'll see some boy banders go the bleach blonde route, and I'm like, mm, this doesn't quite suit your face or your skin tone, but it works for him. It's not bleach blonde, but I like it on him. Come on, KB, come on. Mm. 
The lighting here again is fire. Okay, so first things first, let's hop up into iTunes, only one of, and I need Graffiti, because, um, like I said, Picasso is already familiar with dopamine, obviously I've already reacted to, but Graffiti, I just, I, I just, that song was everything, like it is such a chill, yeah, nope, I don't even recognize this EP cover, so I don't know. Let's see, when did this EP come out? Oh, okay. It's a, is it a recent release? Is that why I don't know it? Because it's it came out twenty twenty four. Okay. Well, hold on. Actually, it's the same EP that has dopamine on. Okay. I thought it was an older song, which is why I didn't know it. But no, it seems to be a more recent song. So I'm gonna buy this whole motherfucking EP right now because um, I, I've I've been missing out on things. Um, yes. Love, 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 love. Uh, I feel like all three songs showed just a different side of their um, musicality, a different side of their tastes and the kind of music that they've made. Um, the Picasso um, remix that they did here, like, like I kept saying, there's something about the instrumentation of it that just felt dark and almost kind of like underground club like if i were watching like a sci-fi movie or a action horror movie or something like i could see this like in the background of like a mid 2000s underground vampire club something like that channeling kind of like queen of the damned or something like that like not necessarily that this song specifically gives me those vibes but there's something about just the dark grungy almost sort of instrumentation nature that was happening that i was like ooh, this just feels very dark and alluring and seductive and then of course their vocals on top of it just added to that but i'm like ooh, this is nice this is nice but like i said I, I love that song um but gravity it was a much softer sweeter kind of cuter kind of song but it was still this just very pop i don't know if i would go as far to call it pop r&b but it had this R&B slash soul-ish quality to it, um, almost akin to like an early Robin Thicke type of s sound. Not that they sound like that, but that sort of vibe. Um, and I really, really dig it. It was low-key, kind of laid back, mid-tempo, and they were just serving really nice vocals. Um, Jinji with his high note, like yes. Um, I don't, I don't know who made the the business decision about Jinji's hair um, in this current era, because going from Picasso to, um, well, the other two songs, there is a significant change. And I noticed the longer hair when I was reacting to the dopamine music video a few weeks back, um, but like just seeing the direct jump from. Picasso to gravity and the length of his hair going from here to here. Um, 
and it not really looking very well blended or anything. I, do, I, I have questions. I have questions about who put those extensions hair pieces in because like we've seen Junji with long hair the first time I watched only one of and I fell in love with him he, my eye was drawn to him he had the long gray hair and I was just like who is this man with this hair and like almost immediately chose a bias so I'm like this man is beautiful and his hair was just this defining feature and then when I saw him he cut his hair you know sort of shoulder length I was like oh no he cut his long beautiful hair his hair still looks beautiful but oh no but it, it always had just like this flow and this body to it whether it was long or mid length so like here now it's longer again bone straight and i feel like the hair that he had in the picasso part of this video is probably where his actual natural hair is and then they added whatever pieces to lengthen it for the rest of it and also i think in the dopamine music video and like i don't have issues with you know people adding in hair pieces or extensions or anything like that like that's that's great but like at least make it look somewhat natural or blended like it just it looked like here was his natural hair and then we had this extension here and like it was just like this shelf like it wasn't blended or feathered into each other it didn't look like a natural progression it just looked like we had hair and then we just had extra hair that was added on here there was no like layers or stuff in between so I, 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 we, we could do a little bit finesse and if we're gonna add it in just you know <laughs> you know but he still looked good regardless um and then we got into dopamine which they obviously weren't singing live at that particular point um i was questioning whether they were for the other songs just because i haven't i'm not familiar enough with them to know like oh this is how this vocal sound this is how this vocal sounds on the recording in comparison to um what was here i felt like as we got through picasso and gravity the more i was listening it sounded like they were probably singing live there if not maybe they had like a live recording of their vocal that they were lip syncing to at that point but it felt like they were singing live those um but dopamine yeah no well, they had no mics. There was no mics. <laughs> no, no mics anywhere. No headset mics, no handheld. They were singing live for that. But they gave me some great choreography. They gave me some great formations. They gave me lots of great energy. Um, and it was a lot of fun to watch. I love just the setup of this venue. It's very simplistic where it's just this surrounded all, all around you by this um, lightable wall. Or it might be um, psych material, screen material. Um, but And they just have colors just have colors happening the lighting effects happening and then they have this beautiful just spotlight on them in the middle and then also on the back to just like hey this is a highlight this is where your focus is and then we've just got all these interesting lighting things happening behind them while they're singing it's very 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 um, entertaining very well done um yeah so all in all i think it was just a good collection of songs and a good collection of performances and i got myself some new music that i'm going to listen to so i'm excited about that gravity was everything everything love love that song i um, can't wait to be obsessed with and get my um co-workers annoyed with me but you know that's just that's the price you pay for working with me <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction thank you sarah for the suggestion if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways like sarah you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i'll see you guys in my next video love you Time we had